came from wearing like suit or something like that. But also I have my core now, like my flat shoes. So I love flat shoes and love training. So I think if someone really like asked me that I have to wear them for like eight hours. new president Adama Barrow will finally return home on Thursday after a week of being after a week of being sworn into office in neighboring Senegal. Now Barrow has promised to reverse many of the actions taken by former ruler Yahya Jami. Now he left the country over uh, the weekend after international pressure and the more than Protests have punctuated each court date in the case of two white farmers accused of beating and forcing a black man into a coffin. South Africa's governing party says the opposition is trying to score points off the denigration of a black man. It says racism persists in part because of inequality. The willingness from these white racists in South Africa shows us that uh, black people are still undermined. But as the, as, as, as the ANC Youth League, we realize that uh, part of it is the issue that black people are still marginalized. Black people do not have ownership. The accused filmed part of Victor Malochwa's attack. He says he was beaten and subjected to racial slurs before being forced into a coffin. The magistrate called it sadistic. Willem Osthuizen and Theo Jackson are charged with kidnapping and assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. They say they caught Malichwa trespassing and with stolen cables, also that he threatened them. 23 years after South Africa became a free democracy, black people are still on the losing end of a big inequality gap. Economically, in terms of land ownership and in rural areas like this where racist attitudes are more ingrained, that leaves people like Victor Malechwa more vulnerable to racist attacks. Social media is playing an important role in exposing racism. Earlier this month, someone posted a photo of a pregnant woman in a sheep's pen when there was room inside the vehicle with her white employer. Under apartheid, this was normal. Uh, and so many people accepted it as part of life. And as more and more people um, become aware of their rights, they're coming out uh, in prison. An unknown number of incidents are likely to happen when a mobile phone isn't handy. That's why many South Africans say this case is so important, to send a message that racist attacks won't be tolerated. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Middlebury, South Africa. So I Al Jazeera, all the sports including Real Madrid's hopes of a treble have ended as they were sent packing in the Spanish Copa del Rey. Details with Sana after the break.